Alright guys, I can come back into the video today. And today what we're doing is we coyote hunting again. So I'm in a different spot from last time because I think those coyotes that I was hunting last time, they think, I think have left for now because my uncle doesn't live far from here. He lives down the road. And after I shot that one, he said he saw one the same size running through his front yard. So And it was headed the opposite direction from our land. So that's a good thing. Maybe they keep on going that way. Those are just younger pups, so they'll probably be back. They're half grown, but dang, I'm horsefly. But I'm hunting with something different today. I'm hunting on the power line. We've had coyotes in here before. I ain't ever hunted it. I'm hunting with the old shotgun, old 20 gauge with some buckshot. But I'm sitting on the edge of this one line and just a little cut in. So I got my tripod, it's in front of me. So this is the view. That's the view of the tripod. So they, there's a road right there. They could come out that road and they'll be in gun range. They could come down the power line. I have to wait for them to get a little bit closer, but they'll be in gun range. I might go get that call and back it up some because it's just like right there. <laughs> That's a little close because if they're running straight for it, they'll see me before they even get to it. I guess I could fire a shot. I mean, I could shoot all the way to the wood line over there, so... I could get a good shot them, or they could come from behind me, and that's just nothing but wood. That's why I got up in these briars, because I don't want one sneaking up on me that close. Which there's a trail right here he could come out on. So, but yeah, this is my setup basically. I got my bag over here, everything in it, my shotgun, my call, my thermos is going down there, because I don't like mosquitoes. So, uh, yeah, let's get into calling and let everything calm down for a little bit, and then we'll start calling and see what happens. And I'll hopefully get it on video. And, let me turn this thing around. And I'm sorry if I don't get the, if something comes in, I don't get the shot on video. It's because I'm hunting with a shotgun, they gotta get close. And if I hunt with a rifle, I can zoom in way out there and get a good video of the shot. But if he's that close, I don't know, I don't, I don't know, I've never filmed this before, so, nothing like this. It's basically like turkey hunting, but not. You know, instead of hunting a turkey with two legs, I'm hunting a turkey with four, and he kills turkey, so. Um, we'll see what happens, and the camera thinks fogging up, I'm not sure. There we go, that might have helped, I don't know. I either hear coyotes or dogs barking that way. I think that's just my beagles, I'm not sure. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get this camera on the tripod and uh, see if we can make something happen. Alright guys, there goes an armadillo. I'm about to hunt this song going down. <laughs> He's up there. I've been hunting this armadillo for so long, I'm about to go kill him. I'm going to shoot him with a Glock. No, I'm going to shoot him with a shotgun. <laughs> Alright. I zoomed the camera in, so I don't know where he went, but we're going to go sneak up on him and shoot him. Forget coach, I'm hunting armadillos. Alright, here we go. Yeah, 
Here, let me pick the camera up and I'll go show y'all. <laughs> How long was I filming? Four minutes. Oh my gosh. Okay, I turned the car on and he ran out of the woods over there. Stinking armadillo. Shot him a buckshot. Alright. <laughs> He's been tearing this food plot up for a while. I've been thinking it was hogs. But, um, I, I started, he was right up there. I couldn't see him. I started crawling from, like, right here. And I crawled. Because I know you can sneak up on him, but I didn't want him getting away. And it couldn't have gone any better. Alright, so, let's make sure he's still over here and he didn't get up run off. Yeah, he's still there. But, he was right over there at the end of my gun barrel. And he kept going that way. I thought he was going to go under that fence. But he didn't. So I got right here and I was about to shoot him while he was standing right there. But I said, I want to see how close I can get. And then he started running or just trotting right there. And I said, oh, buddy, he's mine. I was sitting right here. I was right here and I stood up and he never saw me. And he got right there and I shot him. I'll show y'all. <laughs> got an armadillo. There he is. Don't want to show too much, but... There's my armadillo. I hope the camera ain't zoomed in too far. Yeah. But there's my old armadillo. <laughs> I know they carry, I forgot what kind of disease or something, but I'm just going to leave him sitting right there. I ain't touching him. But where is he? Where was he rooting? All right up in here. Uh, I can't see exactly where he was rooting. But, um, I think it was like right up in here or something. But he came running out of these woods over here. I mean, he was high-telling it, too. If I could have filmed him longer, I would have. But he came scooting out of these woods. And I said, forget the code, hunt. I'm hunting this armadillo. Sure enough, I got him. <laughs> well, I guess the coyote hunt's over. <laughs> Just scared off everything. So, I'll hunt later. Uh, it was worth it. Got an armadillo, so one last look at him. He ain't big, but an old 20 gauge got him. That's the first armadillo I ever shot with a 20 gauge with buckshot. I can't believe the camera. I'll show y'all. I crawled a good ways. But you can see he's tore up all that and all down through here. Goodness, he has. You don't want that in your food plot. <laughs> So, I've been hunting that armadillo and hunting him and try to trap him and I got him. See, here's my setup. <laughs> In the bushes. Hunting them coats. He's all the way up there. <laughs> I crawled a good little ways. But, um, I guess I'm going to go ahead and end today's hunt because, goodness. Set this down. Oh, it was worth it. I gotta go home anyways. It's, it's almost dark. I've been sitting out here since 7. It's already 8 o'clock. So, <laughs> goodness. That was crazy. Uh-oh. What are we doing? Uh, let's change that back to 30. There we go. The brightness wheel thing. But, what a hunt. <laughs> goodness. Sorry about that. The camera cut off. I accidentally hit the button. But, um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and end today's hunt. Hope you guys, or today's video, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I sure did. That was fun. Sneaking up on an armadillo, spotting, stalking an armadillo. That was pretty cool. I ain't never done it before. I mean, I've snuck up on him. You can sneak up on an armadillo. I snuck up on one and kicked him. Some things are deaf. But as soon as they see you, they're running. They don't stop running. They are quick. So I'm going to go ahead, <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and end today's video. Lens is fogging up. Hold on. All right, that might be a little bit better. Focus, there we go. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go ahead and end today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And comment down below what's the craziest thing that's happened to you, coyote hunting. Um, I know this is only my second time, or it's been a while since I, I mean, I coyote hunted that last video, but I've coyote hunted just about every day trying to hunt these coyotes down, and uh, nothing's happening, so... I mean, I've gotten so much footage, it's unreal. But, um, yeah, so, 
Comment down below what's your craziest coyote hunt you've ever been on. What the craziest thing has happened. But if you don't coyote hunt, what's the craziest thing that's happened on your hunt? Any hunt. It don't matter. Even if you don't hunt, what's the craziest thing that ever happened, I guess. I don't know. But, um, <laughs> yeah. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I will catch you on the next one.